In this workout, which is workout 9, let me explain you another scenario. This is the scenario where you want like everybody to be able to run your program. So right now if you look at this is working because macro is enabled here. But you want that if macro is enabled, only few users should be able to run it and rest of the user should actually be not be able to run anything rather the Excel should get closed automatically. At the same time, you do not want to pass a login password because that way very soon login password can be shared by probably one person and then you know it is known to everyone. So what do, can you do? So here I'm going to show you a scenario where I'm going to show you that how Windows based authentication can take place in Excel VBA. So what does it mean? Very much the way you have entered the machine that is your network user ID and I can allow only few user ID to be able to run this macro. For rest of them, if they do not enable the macro, they will not be able to run even this program. And what I can do in fact, let me show you that I can go and you know protect my workbook by password so they can't go and change it here. And if their user ID is mentioned, they will be able to run this program and they will actually get an welcome and if they are their program is, you know, their user ID is not enabled, the program will get exited. I'll show you that how this will get exited, you know, and then, you know, whole Excel can get closed. So I, what I can do here, I can say that a close application as well. Now coming back to this, you know, so this is a scenario by which you are detecting user ID by just running the VBA and allowing some of them to run it. Now let me give you another scenario which I'm going to cover in this workout and that is also there are huge cases for that also. So in one of the circumstances someone you know contacted a VBA programmer that you know this program keeps probably executing for 20 minutes. So the runtime of this program is 20 minutes 25 minutes and I am sitting on a collections floor I can't keep sitting idle to keep waiting that when it is getting over. So ideally I would have liked that if this program would have given a voice notification that this is over and how it would have helped because probably you know people sitting near to me would have called me that this is over please come here or you know probably if I'm nearby even I can hear it. So I will also show you a scenario that how the program will give you a voice notification that the process is over. So let me explain you the syntax of that. The syntax of that goes like this. So essentially you create a network as variant you know, type and user name as string. The moment you set with WS network, it actually takes your username. Let me show it to you. The moment I have done, it has taken Gopal underscore 000, which is my username here. And if you look at, I'm showing you the syntax of case statement also. The case statement is pretty handy if you have to write pretty long if else kind of situation. So if you look at it saying if username is this, so here it will come here and say me go welcome Gopal. And what would have happened if like this is not allowed, it would have said you are not authorized to use this program VV critical and it have exited the sub. I, I will put probably application dot exit also to show you that how you can close the Excel if at all not read required. You don't want the person to do anything with this particular Excel. After that, you know, let me just show you this execution. So if I do function F8, it has said because you know, this is how the case statement is working. But if my user ID would not, was not mentioned here, it would have got closed. Now let me show you something more. This application dot speech dot speak is a wonderful way of voice notification. Here I've just put it this way that you know first time it will say this is call number one we'll wait for one second. Second time it will say this is call number two we'll wait for two seconds and third time it will say this is call number three wait for three seconds. Now what will happen think of if this is speaking even people sitting nearby probably can intimate the leader that you know this program has executed you can come and take a look. I'm going to show you this also but this won't work when I do direct recording because right now my recording is happening through the headphone so I should better be closing it and then recording it again from the PC 
so that you can hear this message. 